Welcome back to the next video of our Spring Boot for Automation testing and this time we are actually looking for how we can integrate the Selenium web driver within our code that we have been writing all these days in section 1. So in our last video we actually created this web driver library and we also saw how we can actually add the dependencies and what is the reason we are doing this like creating a separate uh, class file on this particular place because it's a library and it's it's better that we actually write that in a in the non-test project so that it can be accessed. So I'm actually going to do the uh, configuration, like this is the best practice of doing it, and then we're going to create a new bean this time. So this bean is where it is going to create an instance of the Selenium web driver for us. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a public and it's going to return as a web driver so i'm just going to do a get chrome driver like that and i'm going to call the web driver manager dot chrome driver because it's going to return as a chrome and a setup method and then i'm going to return new chrome driver so if you have not understood the idea of the Web driver manager basically it's going to return uh, or download all the drivers for you while you call this guy and once you say return new chrome driver then it's going to basically have all the drivers required while it returns a new chrome driver i mean you can set the chrome options if you want like maximized uh, ssl security and extensions a lot of things that you want to do you can put it on the chrome options and you can pass it as a parameter on the chrome driver but we don't really have those uh, things at the moment as a requirement so I'm just going to leave this guy as it is and now we have the chrome driver already so now what we can do we can go to the uh, main test over here so if you remember all these days we actually really never uh, navigated to the application or performed any actions it was just all dummy test but now we're gonna actually do that and we'll see how it actually works so I'm gonna get rid of all these codes looks like these are not um the real thing that we are, we're going to be doing and on the context load probably i'm going to say uh perform login test something like that um we don't even require this anyways don't you and then we're going to say probably on the main page uh just for now i'm just going to be writing this so just just bear with me like why am i doing uh, all these things over here like this guy is basically a main page. We should not be doing the navigation of the Selenium web driver over here, but I'm just going to do it for now. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is in order for me to obtain the web driver object from this particular web uh, this particular web driver library, I'm going to actually do one more thing. And as you will know why I'm actually doing this in a minute. So once I do an auto wire of private web driver of web driver like that, and if I just go to a webdriver dot navigate dot uh, dot to the app URL like this, if I do that, it is going to navigate to this app URL that we are we are seeing over here. And if you don't believe me, how it actually works? So I just did an auto wire here, uh, and I'm just doing a navigate how come that works because i have not even called the web driver library class as an auto wired rather i'm actually auto wiring a web driver instance directly the selenium's web driver instead of the web driver library which is my component i mean that's the reason right that is the whole idea right spring boot is gonna do an dependency injection of all the classes for you automatically like how it did for the login page and the home page while you just called the main page dot perform login it automatically did all those injections for you and then it performed this action for you so if i just call this web driver and because spring boot already knows that all right this particular bean actually is of type web driver i already have that object why don't i just give you if you're going to call this web driver so i can just give you this object that's what it is doing at the moment. So let's try to run this test and see what's going to basically happen. So I'm just going to run this test. Oops. 
Ah, uh, there you go. It says uh, main page nested, no qualifying being main page available. I think it's because of uh, the configuration. If you remember, we we're putting it on the uh, main page class in our last section, the conditional on property. Probably I'm just going to get rid of this guy. And let me run this again. There we go. Now it's launching the Chrome driver for us, which is a good news. And you can see that it's navigating to the eaapp.sami.com as well. Awesome, right? So it is actually working for us. So the web driver manager downloaded all the required dependencies for me and it returned a, and it returned a Chrome driver object to this auto wired web driver. And once we did this web driver .navigator to URL, then it actually did that for us as well, which is quite good. And now that we have a web driver object, why can't we just try to wire it up with the home page, login page and all those pages and then we'll start using it. And if you remember on these home pages or login page, we really required to do a init page from the page factory. So instead of doing passing like a constructor, we can use the constructor injection. You remember that we did it last time. So we can do that to do it for us so that we don't even have to, uh, we don't even have to do all these things uh, on the Spring Boot while we write the test. Meet you in our next video. If you can figure out yourself, it'll be fab.